everybody, Noreen here, and I've got this gorgeous pile of die cuts in front of me here. Some beautiful, intricate designs that I cut on my Cricut. And of course, it's no secret that Cricuts and other die cutting machines do a beautiful job of creating these lovely, intricate designs. But what you might be surprised to know is that all of these designs here were actually created using the Creative Memories digital artwork. And I've done other videos that show you how you can use the digital artwork in your digital scrapbooking, but I thought today I would show you how easy it is to take the JPEG and PNG files that are in the Creative Memories artwork kits, uh, digital artwork kits, and use them in your Cricut. So I'm going to show you how I created this flower in my Cricut Design Space and then we'll come back and I'll show you how I plan on using some of these die cuts in my scrapbooking projects. Alright, let's take a look. My Cricut Design Space open, I've logged in and I've chosen to upload an image. And you'll see that you'll get this browse button and you can choose to, to upload JPEGs, GIFs, PMGs, bitmaps, SVG files, or DXF files. So uh, we know that the Creative Memories um, digital artwork is either JPEG or PNG, so we can definitely upload it. So I'm just going to browse to where I have that, and I'm going to choose one of the new Forever Yours embellishments. Now this one is actually a laser cut die cut, um, and you can purchase it um, as a die cut embellishment. But the great thing about using it digitally is that you can resize it to whatever size you want. Okay, so you can see that this checkered background indicates that it's transparent. So anywhere you can see the checkered background, it's going to be empty. So the Cricut machine is going to cut those areas out. All right, now this is just a simple image. So I'm going to choose that, double click on it, and continue. Going to give me a, a preview of the image, and yes, that looks like everything is there. So I'm going to continue, and I want to save it as a cut image. I'm going to cut it out of some solid white cardstock, and I'm going to back it with the um, with some patterned paper for a beautiful sort of open cut work type of design. So now you can see that the image has been saved. It's in my image library now. I'm going to select it and I'm just going to insert it into my project. Now remember what I was saying about the best thing is that you can make these as big or as small as you like. And of course, I think in the uh, laser cut embellishments, you get one of these. And I want a few of them for my project. So I'm going to make them, uh, yeah, about four inches. You can see here that that was four inches. And then I'm also going to right click, copy, and paste so that I actually have two of them. And I'm going to paste another one and then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I think I'm going to make this one about three inches. There we go. I'm going to copy this one, paste. And then I'm going to do one more that's a little bit smaller. So I'm going to paste again and I'll make this one smaller, about two and a half. Well, about two, I think. And you know what? Maybe I'll make two of those. There we go. And last one, copy and paste. Okay. So I have six beautiful flowers now. I'm just going to press the go button and it's going to resize these all onto my 12 by 12 mat. So all I have to do now is put the 12 by 12 inch paper, cardstock paper, onto my mat and load it into my Cricut and we're going to get six beautiful die cut open work sort of flowers. All right. So I'm going to show you how I want to use some of those embellishments now. I've got some photos here from uh, when my family and I visited the uh, butterfly farm, or the butterfly gardens, I guess, out in Victoria, BC. And I'm going to be using them with some of the cool Serenity pre-designed pages and papers um, because the colors look so great with that. But in the cool Serenity's pack, there was no butterfly embellishments. So what I decided is that I would... Uh, 
create a bunch of different sized die cuts. I believe this one is three inches all the way down to about one and a half inches. And you can see how beautifully detailed the, uh, the butterfly is, even when it's small. And then I'm going to back them with some of these uh, patterned and colored papers from the Cool Serenities kit. And that way I have a really custom embellishment that's going to work together uh, with both my theme and the colors that I'm using, okay? And I don't know about you, but I've seen so many of these beautiful sort of cutwork designs that are backed with gorgeous papers, and I really knew that I had to come up with some way to do that um, with our CM products. Okay, so the process is really simple. You're going to use our repositionable adhesive. And again, you might remember me saying that the repositionable adhesive is tiny, tiny little dots of adhesive that um, you just adhere to the back of your project. And it's great for things like the border makers uh, and any of these little die cuts because you see that the, the adhesive sorry, just sticks to the embellishment. Uh, there might be a little bit left over on your mat, but you don't have to worry about cutting the uh, adhesive away. And then I'm just going to place it down on my paper and I'm just going to kind of cut that part out. I'm going to do a bunch of different kinds of papers here. Okay, so that's going to be one. And uh, I might have to do the trimming a little bit later because that'll just take me a couple of extra minutes, but I'll show you so you can get the idea. Just trim around it. And you can really see already how it's going to be a beautiful sort of custom designed embellishment. Uh, you're not going to, you know, have to try and match something up because you're going to be able to create it. Okay. So let's have a look here. So you can see that I'm going to use some of these uh, these photos. There's me and my boys. And then you can see that those custom um, embellishments are going to work beautifully with that. And I'll probably add some gems. I'll probably fold, score and fold these a little bit so that they have some dimension to them and kind of lift off the page. Okay, so I will definitely show you how that page turns out and I will definitely share some more ideas using these uh, lovely little die cuts uh, with you soon. If you've liked this idea, uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks very much for sharing your time with me today and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now. <music>